Hello, I'm Mike Bithell, and you're watching ConnectedDigitalWorlds.com. Identity obstruction mask activated. Assets loading. Loading. Okay, 14 files missing, two files corrupted. So uh, I'm Mike Bithell, um, I make video games, and I'm here today with a game called Volume. It's a stealth game. Um, it is a kind of, it's an old school stealth game, I think it's fair to say. It's kind of based on the tradition of kind of Metal Gear Solid and Thief, the kind of games I grew up playing. Um, and, but done as a kind of cyberpunk Robin Hood thing. Uh, and using sound and vision, very kind of really stripped back stealth. Okay. Um, so I, it was a confluence of a bunch of stuff. So I was a massive Mel Gear Solid fan, really like scary, you know, scary into that. Um, and that was that was a big part of my childhood was playing those games. Um, and then um, I guess as I aged, I kind of I aged with the genre. So I got into Splinter Cell. I got into everything that came later. Last of Us, I really liked. Uh, and, and then that combined with a bunch of different things. So one thing I'm really into is Marvel movies. I fucking I adore the Marvel stuff. And Iron Man in particular. <laughs> so I wanted to make like a hologram -y game. Like, I, I like all that stuff, all those visuals he's doing. Um, so kind of that bit of my brain of kind of like, I want to be Tony Stark running around with holograms. And the stealth part of my brain kind of joined up and, and this kind of came out the other right end of it. Time. Mike Bithell has an embarrassing, well first of all he always yeah. refers to himself in third person. <laughs> Um, because he's kind of become a dick since so Thomas Fallow did well, like that's, he's, he's, he's crossed the line. Um, what do I play? I play uh, AAA. Honestly, like my, my budget, my, my kind of, my, my core games are core games. They are like, so what I've been playing recently, uh, I'm playing Destiny like everyone else, Wolfenstein, I play a lot of first person shooters. Um, I really like playing, what am I playing? Watch Dogs, um, basically Assassin's Creed, anything that's AAA I tend to play. I, I'm really into kind of mainstream games in a way that I don't think indies are meant to admit to. I think we have to pretend we're, we're, we're more into the, more into the, uh, the indie stuff. But I play a lot of indie stuff, mainly because my friends make it, I want to see how they did. But I would say that yeah, predominantly my diet is AAA. So I'm a massive Assassin's Creed fan. Like that's the one of those franchises that I'm. So I'm dying to play Unity, and also the other one. Uh, what's it called now? Rogue, is it? Yep. It's Rogue still. Um, because they changed the name in there. It's Comet. Um, and it was, it was, it's that's the one I'm looking, really looking forward to. Other than that, what else is on my radar? Destiny was obviously I now own that, so I'm, I'm enjoying that, but no longer excited and hyped for it. Um, what else? What else am I really into? What is coming out that's intriguing to me. That's about it really. I think there's I think there's a few a few of the big AAA franchises. Half-Life 3 is gonna be great. Um, I'm still excited about that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's volume. No um so I'm not going to tell you, and I'll tell you the reason why, um, is, that, is that the problem with telling you would be that that would ruin my evil plan. Okay. And my evil plan is to make all the games I want to make. Cool. One by one. Um, hopefully, you know, each successful game funds the next one. Um, Thomas was alone paid for two games the size of volume. Hopefully volume will pay for something a bit bigger and we can scale up. Um, and yeah, so I'm not going to tell you, because that game genuinely is in my head and I'm gonna make it in 20 years. I don't want you to know what it is because I'll ruin the surprise. Learning to code was a challenge. I'll be honest, that one was tricky. Um, learning how to actually kind of make the script lead to a game. Um, that's probably the biggest challenge. So I had to teach myself how to do that to make Thomas feel low. Um, and I write really bad code. Um, I now actually work with a programming team and they are just running jokes and memes in our emails about how awful a programmer I am. Um, but it works. They, you know, I pay them to just fix it. <laughs> um, so that one was hard. I mean, there's a lot of technical barriers to making games. You know, it's the easiest time to make video games, but it's also it's it's it ain't solved. You know, we'll get there.
So I don't have a favourite stage. In terms of gadgets, I love. There's one I'm showing you. Um, is the Figment, which is that you can you can basically launch a fake you, um, and guards will think it's you and chase it. And I love it because you can totally mess with the guards. You can like hide around the corner and set this thing going over there, and then all be like, what, what, and chase after it, and you can kind of almost clear an entire area of enemies. So you can just wander in and grab something. Um, and I like that one because I like messing with the guards. The guards are just stupid enough, but just intelligent enough that you can have a lot of fun, like winding them up and sending them on their way. And now they've got VO in, they'll hopefully get annoyed at you, like sort of messing them around um, and taunt you and stuff. So that's, at the moment, I think that's my favourite ability. But that changes weekly. So, so far today everyone's liking it, um, really all of the really useful feedback we get uh, is to do with um, making the game understandable, so communicating better with the player what they're meant to be doing. So, you know, should this, you know, how do I launch this projectile, how do I make this work, um, we're getting there with that stuff and it's been really fun. Every time we do a playtest we find really horrible mistakes that in retrospect seem so obvious. Them. Um, Great time and effort in focus testing my name. Alan was arrived upon after many months of market research. Alan's your buddy. You know Alan. Of course I know Alan. I love Alan. Etc. I get it. Okay, Alan. Let's do this. Do you like the colour? Uh, beautiful. I'm capable of showing 16,000 colours. We can't have you shooting at drab and